What is a Skarn Zone? A Skarn Zone is a geological formation resulting from the process of metasomatism, where chemical reactions occur between intrusive igneous rocks and the surrounding carbonate-rich sedimentary rocks, such as limestone or dolomite. This interaction leads to the development of distinctive mineral assemblages and rock textures in the contact zone between these two types of rocks. Skarns are often associated with the contact metamorphism caused by the heat and fluid activity of nearby magma intrusions. Formation Process Skarns form when hot, mineral-rich fluids derived from magma infiltrate the surrounding host rocks, triggering chemical reactions. These reactions replace the original minerals of the host rock with new, high-temperature minerals that are stable under the conditions of increased heat and fluid interaction. The process typically occurs at the boundaries of plutons, large bodies of intrusive igneous rock, and results in the formation of a highly altered, mineral-rich zone. The fluids involved in skarn formation often contain elements such as silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, and various metals, e.g., copper, tungsten, or zinc, which contribute to the formation of unique mineral assemblages in the skarn zone. Mineral Composition The mineral composition of a skarn depends on the chemistry of both the original rocks and the invading fluids. Common minerals found in skarns include Calc silicates, garnet, e.g., andradite, grossular, pyroxenes, e.g., diopside, hedenbergite, and wollastonite. Or minerals, magnetite, chalcopyrite, sphalerite, shalite, and molybdenite. Accessory minerals, epidote, vesuvianite, and fluorite. The mineralogy often varies spatially within the skarn, with distinct zones corresponding to different stages of metasomatism or varying fluid compositions. Types of skarns. Skarns are broadly classified into two main types based on their dominant metal content. Exoskarn, formed in the carbonate host rocks and typically includes minerals derived from the reaction between these rocks and intrusive fluids. Endoskarn, formed within the intrusive igneous rocks themselves, involving the alteration of the igneous rock by the same metasomatic processes. Additionally, skarns are often named according to the dominant metal present in the zone, such as copper skarns, gold skarns, tungsten skarns, and zinc skarns. Economic Importance Skarns are economically significant because they can host large deposits of valuable metals and minerals. For example, copper and gold skarns are major sources of these metals in mining districts worldwide. Tungsten and molybdenum skarns are valuable for industrial applications. Some skarns also contain significant amounts of rare earth elements REs, making them an increasingly important exploration target. Geological Context Skarn zones are commonly found in areas where tectonic activity has caused the intrusion of magma into carbonate-rich sedimentary rocks, such as at convergent plate boundaries or in regions with past volcanic activity. These zones are often associated with porphyry systems, which are also significant sources of metals like copper and gold. In summary, a skarn zone is a geologically and economically important feature that results from the interaction of igneous intrusions with carbonate rocks, leading to unique mineral formations and the potential for valuable ore deposits. How is a skarn zone formed? A skarn zone is formed through a complex geological process involving contact metamorphism and metasomatism, which occur when an intrusive igneous body, e.g., a pluton, comes into contact with surrounding carbonate-rich rocks, such as limestone or dolomite. The formation of a skarn is the result of the interaction between high-temperature, mineral-rich fluids released from the magma and the surrounding sedimentary rocks. This interaction leads to chemical and mineralogical changes in the rocks at the contact zone. Let's break the process into its main stages. 1. Intrusion of Igneous Rock The process begins when magma from deep within the Earth's crust rises and intrudes into the surrounding country rock. This magma cools and crystallizes into an igneous body, often a granitic pluton. During its emplacement, the magma generates intense heat, raising the temperature of the surrounding rocks and causing contact metamorphism. 
Host rocks, SCARN zones most commonly form in carbonate-rich sedimentary rocks, such as limestone or dolomite, because these rocks are particularly reactive with the hot fluids derived from the magma. 2. Release of hydrothermal fluids. As the magma cools, it releases hydrothermal fluids, hot, water-rich solutions containing dissolved minerals, metals, and volatile components like silica, carbon dioxide, and sulfur. These fluids are typically enriched in elements such as silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, magnesium, metals like copper, gold, tungsten, molybdenum, and zinc. The hydrothermal fluids migrate outward into the surrounding rocks through fractures, pores, and other pathways, creating a zone of intense fluid rock interaction. 3. Contact metamorphism. In the immediate vicinity of the intrusive body, the heat from the magma causes contact metamorphism, which alters the texture and mineralogy of the surrounding rocks. This process typically forms fine-grained or recrystallized metamorphic rocks, but it also prepares the host rocks for the next stage, metasomatism. Thermal gradient, the highest temperatures occur closest to the intrusion, with temperatures decreasing outward. This gradient creates distinct zones of alteration. 4. Metasomatism, chemical exchange. Metasomatism is the key process in the formation of a SCARN zone. It involves the chemical exchange between the hydrothermal fluids and the carbonate rocks. This process replaces the original minerals in the host rock with new minerals that are stable under the conditions of high temperature and pressure, as well as the chemical environment provided by the invading fluids. Key Chemical Reactions The calcium from the carbonate rocks reacts with the silica in the fluids to form calcsilicate minerals like garnet and pyroxene. Carbon dioxide is released as a byproduct of the reaction between the carbonate minerals and the hydrothermal fluids. Zones of Alteration As the fluids infiltrate the host rocks, they create distinct zones of mineralogical changes. These zones can include Proximal zone, near the intrusion rich in high-temperature minerals like garnet, pyroxene, and wollastonite. Distal zone, farther from the intrusion contains lower-temperature minerals like epidote, vesuvianite, and tremolite. 5. Formation of ore minerals as metasomatism progresses, certain areas within the SCARN zone become enriched in economically valuable metals, forming ore deposits. These metals are either transported by the hydrothermal fluids or mobilized from the host rocks. Deposition of ore minerals. Metals like copper, gold AU, tungsten, and zinc precipitate from the fluids under specific conditions of temperature, pressure, and chemical composition. Common or minerals include Magnetite, iron Chalcopyrite, copper Shalite, tungsten Molybdenite, molybdenum Zoned or deposits The distribution of or minerals often follows the thermal and chemical gradients in the SCARN zone. Higher grade ores are typically found closer to the intrusive body, while lower grade ores occur farther away. 6. Post-formation alteration. After the SCARN has formed, it may undergo additional changes due to supergene enrichment, secondary processes near the Earth's surface can concentrate metals, making the deposits even more valuable. Weathering and erosion, these processes can expose the SCARN zone at the surface, making it accessible for exploration and mining. Factors influencing SCARN formation. The formation of a SCARN zone depends on several key factors. Composition of the host rock, carbonate rocks are most conducive to SCARN formation, but other rock types can also be involved if they contain reactive minerals. Chemistry of the intruding magma, the metal content and chemical composition of the magma influence the type of SCARN and the metals present. Fluid dynamics, the temperature, pressure, and flow patterns of the hydrothermal fluids control the extent and nature of metasomatism. Time and scale, larger and longer-lasting intrusions tend to produce more extensive SCARN zones. Examples of SCARN zones 
Scarn zones are found worldwide in areas of past or present tectonic activity, especially near convergent plate boundaries. Some notable examples include Bingham Canyon, Utah, USA, Copper Gold Scarn Pine Creek, California, USA, Tungsten Scarn Graberg, Indonesia, Copper Gold Scarn In summary, Scarn zones form through the interplay of heat, fluids, and chemical reactions between intrusive igneous bodies and surrounding carbonate-rich rocks. These zones are of great geological and economic interest due to their complex mineralogy and the potential for hosting valuable metal deposits. Characteristics of a Scarn Zone A Scarn Zone is a highly altered geological formation that develops at the boundary between intrusive igneous rocks, e.g., granite, diorite, and carbonate-rich sedimentary rocks, e.g., limestone, dolomite. These zones are characterized by their unique mineralogy, texture, and geochemical properties, which result from the intense interaction between hot, mineral-rich fluids and the surrounding host rocks. Below is a detailed exploration of the defining characteristics of Scarn zones. 1. Distinctive Mineralogy The most prominent feature of a Scarn zone is its mineralogical assemblage, which is dominated by calc silicate and other high-temperature minerals. The mineral composition is a direct result of the metasomatic replacement of original host rock minerals by new minerals that are stable under high temperatures, pressures, and chemically reactive conditions. Key Mineral Groups Calc silicates, these are the hallmark minerals of scarn zones and form through the reaction between calcium from the carbonate rocks and silica from the hydrothermal fluids. Common calc silicate minerals include Garnet typically andradite or grossular. Pyroxene, common varieties include diopside and hedenbergite. Wollastonite, metallic or minerals. Magnetite, an iron ore. Chalcopyrite, a copper ore. Sphalerite, a zinc ore. Shalite, a tungsten ore. Accessory minerals. Epidote, Vesuvianite, fluorite, and quartz are often present, depending on the chemical composition of the fluids and host rocks. 2. Zoning and Spatial Variation Scarn zones typically exhibit distinct spatial zoning, which reflects changes in temperature, pressure, and chemical gradients during their formation. This zoning manifests as mineralogical and textural differences across the Scarn body. Proximal Zone Located closest to the igneous intrusion. Characterized by high temperature minerals such as garnet, pyroxene, and wollastonite. Contains the highest concentration of ore minerals, especially metallic sulfides. Distal zone. Found farther from the intrusion. Dominated by lower temperature minerals such as epidote, tremolite, and quartz. Ore minerals may be less abundant or absent. Transition zone lies between the proximal and distal zones. Exhibits a mixture of high temperature and low temperature minerals, reflecting intermediate conditions. 3. Textural Characteristics Scarn zones often display a variety of rock textures that arise from the metasomatic replacement of original minerals by new ones. These textures are indicative of the conditions under which the scarn formed. Common Textures Granoblastic texture, equigranular, interlocking crystals formed during recrystallization. Porphyroblastic texture, large, well-formed crystals, e.g., garnet, embedded in a fine-grained matrix. Replacement texture, original carbonate minerals are replaced by calc silicates and or minerals, often preserving the original rock structure. 4. Chemical characteristics. The chemical composition of a scarn zone is shaped by the interplay between the igneous intrusion, the host rocks, and the hydrothermal fluids. These zones are chemically diverse and can show enrichment in various elements. Key Chemical Features High calcium content, derived from the original carbonate rocks. Enrichment in silica, introduced by the hydrothermal fluids. Metal enrichment commonly includes economically significant metals such as copper, iron, gold, Au, tungsten, W, molybdenum, and zinc. 
Depletion of carbonates, CO2 is released during the reaction between carbonate rocks and hydrothermal fluids. 5. Thermal and pressure gradients. The formation of a scarn zone occurs in a setting with steep thermal and pressure gradients, which contribute to the distinct mineralogical zoning and chemical composition. Thermal gradient. Highest temperatures are near the igneous intrusion, leading to the formation of high temperature minerals, e.g., garnet, pyroxene. Lower temperatures farther from the intrusion favor the formation of minerals like epidote and quartz. Pressure conditions. Typically forms under low to moderate pressure conditions, but localized variations can occur depending on the depth of the intrusion and tectonic setting. 6. Geological context. Scarn zones are most commonly associated with specific geological settings, particularly those involving tectonic activity and magmatism. Common geological settings. Convergent plate boundaries, areas where oceanic plates are subducted beneath continental plates, leading to magma generation and intrusion into carbonate-rich sediments. Porphyry systems, scarn zones are often spatially and genetically related to porphyry copper or gold deposits. Volcanic arcs, regions with extensive volcanic activity often host scarn zones due to abundant intrusions and carbonate-rich rocks. 7. Economic importance. One of the defining characteristics of a scarn zone is its potential for hosting economically valuable mineral deposits. Many scarns are mined for their rich concentrations of metals. Or deposit characteristics. High metal grades, scarns often contain high concentrations of metals such as copper, gold, and tungsten. Spatial association with porphyry deposits, scarns often occur adjacent to large porphyry copper or gold systems, making them prime exploration targets. Diverse metal types, some scarns host polymetallic deposits with a mix of copper, lead, zinc, tungsten, and molybdenum. 8. Alteration and supergene processes. After their initial formation, scarn zones may undergo further alteration due to weathering and supergene processes. Supergene enrichment. Near-surface chemical weathering can concentrate metals, enhancing the economic value of the deposit. Secondary alteration. Late-stage hydrothermal fluids can alter primary scarn minerals, leading to the formation of secondary minerals such as clay, hematite, or limonite. Conclusion A scarn zone is a complex geological feature that stands out for its unique mineralogy, spatial zoning, and economic potential. These zones are the result of intense metasomatic processes driven by the interaction of hot, metal-rich fluids with carbonate-rich host rocks. Their characteristics, ranging from distinctive mineral assemblages to zone spatial patterns and chemical diversity, make them important targets for geological study and resource exploration.